Why fish do not freeze to death in winter? Water has unique characteristics that other liquids don't have. Water is absolutely essential to all living things. It is practically colorless and is used as a universal solvent. It exists abundantly on our planet in the form of seas, oceans, rivers and other water masses. It is also found in the form of ice in the polar caps of our planet. It serves as a habitat for many creatures. It also plays an important role in Earth's temperature regulation system. A very special feature of water is its behavior as temperature changes. Like most liquids, water expands when hot and shrinks when cold. Water, however, after reaching 4 degrees Celsius below its freezing point, expands noticeably. It expands when it is already solid. This feature can sometimes be very undesirable, since it causes the pipes in the house to break when water freezes and then expands inside them. Machinery requiring water cooling also breaks because of the tremendous force exerted by the ice at temperatures below freezing. Nevertheless, this special feature is part of its design. If water continued to contract after freezing, it would reduce its volume without reducing its weight and would sink in the lakes and rivers, causing them to become solid icebergs, killing all living things in the frozen water. A cubic foot of water, when it becomes ice, continues to weight the same but it takes up a slightly larger volume, a fact which, according to Archimedes' principle, increases its buoyancy. So, ice floats in the water, due to its larger volume, displacing a greater weight of liquid water so it does not sink. Since only a thin layer of a lake freezes, it works as an insulation to maintain a temperature well above the freezing point where fish life can go on. The whole universe is carefully balanced so all things can continue to exist. I hope this clip has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.